Joining me now is Dr. Rebecca Hunter. She is VP of Exploration at Forum Energy Metals. Great to see you again. It's great to see you, Mark. We did this about a year ago. Yeah, my first one. Yeah, so and you were great, and you're going to be even better this time. So let, let's let's update the story. The company is exploring for uranium and energy metals in the, the Thelon Basin in Nunavut. The project is now called Aberdeen, and you're in the Athabasca Basin as well. And, and you said that the, the drilling results uh, fairly recently from the, the, the Tadagat discovery were quote unquote exceptional mm -hmm. and and you're not going to find grays like that anywhere aside from the Athabasca Basin and you you're, you found a bit of a gold mineralization as well so can you uh, wrap that up for us in a in a nice little overview yeah so I mean last year we got we had got a strategic investor we got some money we got drilling up there so yeah we had the the one intercept was 2.25 over 11 meters so I mean that's exceptional grades um, just like the Athabasca we hope to find even better at some point point. and then recently we we did some gold assaying just because we knew um, from before we've been told the Kigavik deposits have a bit of gold but I never assayed them in the past because I was like we're focused on uranium let's not worry about it. its extra cost so um, so we did it and then we were pleasantly surprised that you know we have some pretty exceptional for you know, uranium deposits, gold in our deposit. So 0.7 grams per ton over 11 meters of that particular intercept. So, you know, something to pay, you know, to pay the bills, I guess, too, potentially down the road. Right, it gives you some options. Yeah. Yeah. Now on the financing front, company recently raised 10.4 million. Red Cloud was the, the lead agent, sole book runner on that. You said the majority of the, the bulk of that money will be used for drilling at uh, Aberdeen, and then you'll use some uh, as well for uh, uh, for other projects in, in Saskatchewan. But so uh, you, you're gonna uh, build a camp in May, start drilling in June. Uh, so what's the potential this season coming up for larger discoveries? So really good. So I mean, Tadigak, we've got, you know, a great strike length to, um, to test. So we, you know, basically we've only drilled about 300 meters of a kilometer and a half anomaly. So we're gonna extend that. We're gonna start stepping out, build a resource hopefully. Um, and we also did some new geophysics um, last year to kind of front load for this year, some passive seismic or ambient noise tomography. And so that's really helped too. And I'll, I'll present a bit of that tomorrow at the Red Cloud presentation that I'm doing tomorrow at 10. Um, but it's giving us a really good idea about kind of the depth that these mineralized bodies can be. And so we're gonna, it's gonna help our targeting. So, so anyways, we're gonna just keep expanding that resource. Um, 75% of our budget, the 10 and a half that we raised, is going to go towards that. And then uh, at uh, Wollaston in Saskatchewan, you're, you're, some of those funds will be used for a geophysical survey. Uh, you're defining targets there. And also, the uh, second part of that would be, uh, tell us a little bit more about Grease River as well, if you could. So we're still going to... We have a more of a simmer, but we're still in Saskatchewan. We're still progressing those projects. So yeah, Wollaston um, want to do a bit more geophysics to basically see a bit deeper. We have nice conductive trends. We have good geology. We just need to get a bit more so we can refine those targets. So we're going to do some mobile MT over um, Wollaston. And then our Grease River, um, that's a joint venture or a more option agreement with Traction Uranium. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to also do some more airborne, some grass and hopefully be drilling on that project in Q1 2025. All right, so for investors out there, we know the uranium sector uh, has been quite hot, cooled off a little bit, but tailwinds are there, everybody says so, for an extended period. So uh, what are some of the catalysts that uh, people can look forward to as we go through uh, 24 for, for Forum Energy? So we're going to start drilling. We're going to build that camp, like you said, in May. We're going to start drilling in June. So I think for, you know, catalysts, we're hopefully going to have some great results start trickling out in July. Um, and then again, we're going to continue our ant survey, uh, keep refining targets because we just don't have one deposit. We have Tadigak and that's exceptional. We're going to build that. We have another deposit that uh, was found when I was with Cameco. So we're going to look at that in more detail. Again, kind of drill it at a better angle. We'll blast. That's one thing we did with Tadigak too, is that um, we've kind of refined our understanding of its structural geometry. So we're going to drill Cavic better, hit some mineralization there, and then we've got these really outstanding targets that I'm even more excited about that I hope 
you know, we can really up the ante in the Thelon and really make the Thelon an actual new Athabasca Basin. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks. Dr. Rebecca Hunter, Forum Energy Metals.